Hi, so most probably right now your Windows laptop looks like this. Pretty nice but pretty boring. In 5 different phases, I'm gonna change the entire look of your Windows PC, Windows laptop and uh, it'll look a more like a uh, Mac OS or a totally different version of Windows and you'll love this. And also you have to promise me that in this 5 different phases, uh, you have to keep this for at least 1 week. Just do this on your laptop, keep this for 1 week and uh, if you don't like it, you know, you can always go back but you need to give it some time and uh, trust me, you'll start liking your Windows laptop a lot more and uh, let's get started. Okay, so phase one is to declutter the entire home screen. So what we are going to do first is remove all these unnecessary icons like this PC, network, recycle bin, control panel because all these things you can just directly search from the windows icon or you can just press the windows button and uh, you can search from there. So how to do it? You have to go to settings. So we are going to go to settings and then we are going to find the setting uh, Dex, desktop uh, icon. So you are going to go on uh, personalization and themes and here it is desktop icon settings you're gonna go there and we are gonna uncheck all these because these are just occupying space uh, on the desktop home screen we don't need all this so we are gonna unselect all these we are gonna click on apply and okay so let's go back and you can see here all those uh, things are gone and now we are left with these files which you might be having and you might be having it from you know couple of years or something so what are we gonna do is step one we are gonna uh, make a new folder and we are gonna name it something like confidential confidential and uh, we can name it something else also and uh, i'm gonna show you what all so as you can see we can name it uh, these things so you can name it either confidential backdoor closet quiet hush hush sensitive classified intimate of the record you know something uh, cool and funky name so that uh, by chance if you give your laptop to someone and they see something like confidential top secret icon uh, they it'll, it'll make them think that you are like a mysterious person so what are we gonna do is we're gonna select all of this and then uh, we are gonna just transfer all of this in this folder so as you can see the entire home screen is now clean now what i would like you to do even further is you're going to transfer all these things to the specific uh, c drive d drive or inside it so that you have nothing on the home screen and uh, that's what i used to do uh, i will even delete this so nothing should be there on the home screen and this is how we complete phase one decluttering the home screen Okay, so now get, let's uh, get on to the second phase and second phase is the most important phase of this entire uh, conversion of your laptop and what we have to do in it is we have to hide this taskbar. Now I'm sure you must have uh, hidden your taskbar before but uh, today we are going to take it to the extreme and this is the thing which will change the entire look of your laptop or your PC. So what we have to do is we have to go to the settings and then after that we have to go to taskbar. You have to search taskbar taskbar settings and uh, after that we have to go to taskbar behaviors and then automatically hide the taskbar now you must have done this i'm sure and uh, first of all just take a look the entire experience of looking at the laptop has totally changed you know nothing is there here nothing is there on the top so this is awesome but one problem is when you go down here uh, one of the more one, one, one more thing that you have to do is you have to turn off the animations so let me tell you so if you go to animations animation effects and see right now if I, I have turned it off if I turn it on like uh, it is already in your laptop look what it does to the taskbar you can see this animation it is so bad it is uh, somewhere around 30 fps whereas the laptop will be either uh, 60 fps 90 or 120 so it will just spoil the entire mood. So you have to turn this off. As soon as you turn it off, just look how it becomes. As soon as you bring your cursor, it just it just comes instantaneously. Can you see? And uh, if you go to desktop, first of all, just look at the desktop. It's totally clean. It's giving a totally different look. And we are going to do much more things. But just look at how, how much just in two phases it has changed. And you have to turn on the animation, guys. 
now you might say how do we navigate what all apps are there so for that you can press alt plus tab alt plus tab so as you can see when you press that uh, you can just select the different uh, different uh, uh, different like documents when uh, office microsoft store so they, you don't you won't have any problem in navigating as you can see and uh, as as you have removed the animation look how fast it has become so you have to do this two steps you have to uh, hide this and uh, you have to turn off the animation now you might like the animations but guys uh, to get something in life we have to kind of uh, let go of something you know something like ambani family if they want to eat vada pav in the middle of the street they can't because of security reasons they can call that entire vada pav stall to their uh, house but they can't eat it so you have to make certain sacrifices in life and this is one of them so this completes the phase 2 and um, let's get on to the phase 3 so uh, for the phase 3 what we are going to do is we're going to change the entire theme of the windows first thing i want you to do is turn on night light yes you heard me right night light is something uh, which actually apple introduced in somewhere back in ios 8 or 9 so that it gives uh, the screen little bit of a yellowish tint and uh, actually in macbooks they have something called true tone so true tone adjusts the screen tone based on the environment but windows laptop don't have it so in my experience what i have found is to turn on the night light always so that it makes the screen little bit warm now you can uh, choose how much you want some it should be somewhere around uh, 40 somewhere around 40 30 to 50 is really nice so 40 is amazing and uh, you should try to leave it on for th- for the entire time doesn't matter night or day because it will change the entire way you know you look at your windows when you're reading articles when you're working on word it will just make it much more soothing experience now after this what we have to do is we have to uh, change the theme of the windows so you know where i am going to with this uh, we have to turn on the dark mode now you might ask me why dark mode Uh, the simple reason being as you can see here majority of the bezels of the laptop are black in color and this white thing is basically it's jarring actually so if you have a dark mode it just gives it a more synchronous experience more surreal experience so what you have to do here you have to go to the theme and uh, you have to choose the dark mode so uh, what you can do is you can just select this wallpaper it has four images which will keep changing and it will give a really nice experience so uh, let's just select this uh, and you can see how different it has become so now it is matching with the bezel of the laptop and uh, you see the home screen it just looks so amazing and fantastic it doesn't even look like your old windows laptop so uh, this has to be you have to keep it on always dark mode you know you can see no taskbar it just looks already so amazing also along with this you have to change the color of the cursor of your mouse and you have to change it to black so we have to go here we have to click here and we have to select windows black windows black system scheme you have to select that you have to click uh, you have to click on the first one normal select click on apply and click on okay now again you can see if changing it with black it just blends it with the whole black theme and this is how it is actually in max they don't have white cursors no 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 they have the black one also as we are here we have to change the lock screen so lock screen what i want you to do is uh, to enable um windows spotlight so windows spotlight you might already know it just keeps changing the images after uh, you know every day so it's like every time you open your laptop from sleep will be some new image and uh, so this is it for the looks department here and uh, let's go to the next phase okay so let's get to the phase 4 in phase 4 i have a really cool app which uh, you have to download from the microsoft uh, store app so the app is basically called quick look so quick look is a feature in which as soon as you press space bar it shows a preview of an app in a really nice uh, a preview of a file in a very nice uh, interface so let me show you i'll only press space bar so as you can see so as you can see it is such an amazing interface uh and you only have to press space bar and if you press the space bar again it will go so you don't have to open it in a vlc or any other app because it takes like 2 seconds but uh, by using this preview app 
as you can see it just opens in one second and such a nice interface it doesn't take up the entire screen and just look here it has the blur effect so as you can see it is adapting to the background uh, it's, it's really an amazing uh, app actually it feels like microsoft themselves have designed it but uh, it's an amazing app and uh, it can be used for anything it can be used uh, for your uh, you know basic uh, files uh, basic pictures so as you can see uh, if i have to open this i'll only click on space bar and you can see it just opens and i can just scroll around and i can just space uh, and i can just press the space bar again and it'll go amazing app amazing interface so the app is called quick look you can uh, go to the microsoft store and you can uh, just search quick look install it and that's it so always you can just uh, press the space bar and it will show you the size of the folder it can play videos it can even play music let me show here if i go to uh, music as you can see and again i press space bar and just look how fast it is amazing amazing and uh, just look at this uh, scene right now guys how clean it is looking there's no taskbar no icons dark mode here as you can see the transparency it really looks very clean okay so let's go to phase 5 now phase 5 isn't a uh, particularly a visual uh, upgrade but it is something which you really need to do in a windows laptop so what you have to do is you have to uh, click on start you have to go to task manager in task manager you have to click here uh, startup apps and what you have to do is you have to disable majority of the startup apps now uh, i'm sure many of you already knew about this but uh, for someone who didn't know uh, you have to in disable majority of the apps because what this does is it slows down your laptop so i have disabled majority of the apps so for example utorrent web uh, I had recently installed this. Now it is enabled. So every time my laptop boots up, it will take little bit percentage of my CPU. So you don't need uTorrent to run every time, right? And as you can see here, startup impact, it is high. So what you have to do is you have to just click on disable. Disable. And that's it. And uh, you just make sure that majority of it is disabled. Only stuff like quick look, which we just installed. You know, Spotify, uh, you don't need to start it always. Microsoft Edge, everything should be turned off. Lenovo hotkeys, such things should be uh, enabled because uh, by chance if you want to get into your recovery mode, uh, you need this. Otherwise, majority of the stuff stuff you can just turn off. Also guys, I would recommend you if you are using a Windows laptop to use uh, Edge, Microsoft Edge as your web browser, especially if you are using an old laptop because what happens is uh, the Chrome uses too much of your CPU and uh, your old slow windows laptop can't tolerate it so i would really recommend you to use microsoft edge and it will change your entire experience this uninstall chrome is basically the same thing uh, chrome might be like five or ten percent faster but it's just the same thing and uh, trust me you uninstall chrome you transfer everything to edge it's the same damn experience but uh, uh, your laptop will be much faster and uh, in edge we also have this uh, browser essentials which uh, basically you know saves your battery in efficiency mode saves the memory with sleeping tabs so uh, especially if you have an old uh, windows laptop it's much recommended to use this rather than chrome and even if new laptop something like this i have this uh, new intel evo laptop and uh, i only use this i haven't even installed chrome in it and uh, it's an amazing experience so now just have a look how awesome it looks just while copying a file so i'm copying this file from uh, my laptop to my pen drive and just see how awesome it looks just see the no taskbar everything is black it is matching with the bezel it just feels like it is uh, not windows and uh, as you can see it's just awesome and as soon as uh, it gets completed what happens is uh, you just get done with what you are doing you close it and you see a blank screen and what do you do after you see a blank screen you close your laptop you close your laptop and you go out of the house you go see a sky or something 
because uh, you can't just spend your entire life on your laptop and on your ipad right so just go outside see a sky talk to a person and that empty screen actually helps you in doing that if your uh, screen is like cluttered with uh, so many icons and everything uh, you'll always feel like uh, let's open this let's open that but when you even open your laptop you open with a fresh clean space and uh, you do what you do and you just turn it off so i hope this uh, video helped you guys thanks for watching and uh, try this on for one week bye bye